You guys already know what's happening. We back with some RPG. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'm I'm so sorry. Anyway, character creator EX plugin thing. Make your character. You get the idea. Let's go. First thing to do is install all the necessary images in the some random dude character creator EX folder. You'll find all these images in a zip file on the main page. We can download the plugin. So do that. Make sure it looks just like this, and you should be good to go. So next thing you need to do is install the plugin. As you see, it requires a Super Tools engine, so make sure you have that installed. Then install the Character Creator EX below it, and you should be good to go. Once everything is set up and ready to go, you can use the following plugin commands to make things work. First of all, open Character Creator, then the Actor ID to use a Character Creator just like this. As you can see, we opened it up for Actor ID 1. So when we create a character just like this, create some eyes, some eyebrows, get some nose in there, get a mouth in there, and hey, let's get some clothing while we're at it. We'll go and do um, this clothing right here, and leave by hitting yes, just like that. Now, as you can see, Harold has transformed into this person right here, and yeah. If you'd wish to edit your character, simply open up the character creator for that actor ID again, and you can just edit it just like this, just like before. So we'll make it so they have hair now, and we'll just um, give them some real hair, just like this. And yeah, that looks to be about it. There we go. Now, if you want to make your custom character user dead sprite, simply use a plug command, set dead custom character, their actor ID, then true or false, depending on to turn on their dead custom character or turn off their dead custom character. So right now it's turned on, so you can use this in cutscenes and stuff, then you can turn it back off by setting it to false, just like that. And then finally, as you notice right here, these NPCs slash events are using a custom character's image right now. And that's because they're using note tag custom character for a normal custom character and custom dead character for a custom d dead character. So, yeah. And then finally, like before, if you want to use your custom character's face in a dialogue, simply use a note tag CC face within the actual show text event itself. Now that we've got all the plugin commands and note tags out of the way, let's focus more on the parameters for the character creator EX. For the most part, they're still the same. You can change all the layers for all the sections, you can set the order of all the sections in the character creator scene itself, you can set the mandatory sections that have to be filled out before exiting, you can set the color for the mandatory sections that haven't been filled out yet, you can set whether or not commands to generate custom characters from a certain actor ID will be printed to the console after my character is created, you can set to whether or not you want to use a fade transition, use piece backgrounds, use scene backgrounds, you can customize the scroll for the X speed and Y speed of that background, you can set the columns of the small pieces and big pieces, and you can change up the dialogues for when you want to leave and when you don't have all your mandatory sections filled out. And finally, you also have all the different size options for your images in case you want to use custom images. But besides all that, the biggest addition to the Character Creator EX is the implementation into the Super Tools engine right here. So we'll go to the Database EX, go to Custom Editors, and find the Character Creator Editor right here. Now, as you can see, it's pretty much going to set the properties for all the different sections right here. So for example, I want to go to like, I don't know, clothing said so as a different name we do so lots so maybe we call it just like clothes like that we can set a specific javascript condition for that it's going to appear in the list in the character creator we can set whether it's going to appear as a walking character a dead character a side view battler or a face so we'll try doing a side view battler and for the direction this will depend on whether or not you're using a character so if you are using a character or walking sprite this will determine what kind of direction it's looking in so we can make it like left if, but it doesn't really matter now if we return and save our changes just like this as you can see when we return and go to the character creator right here we'll find that hey now it's called clothes and now it uses side view battlers for its displaying just like this so yeah there we go. Anyway, the final feature of the Character Creator EX is the ability to customize the colors for each individual section, as you see right here. Now, this may seem like a convoluted mess, because it's, it's, it's a convoluted mess. Essentially, what this color formatting is, is it's a JSON input for all the various color data. So what does that mean? That means each individual color is a different array separated by a comma, as you see right here. So we're going to have the white color right here, tan, brown, black, gray, and then, of course, blue. And these six colors are going to have their own information pertaining to themselves and within the array itself. As you can see through the guide up here, you're going to need the color name, hue, and then optional saturation, brightness, and or grayscale, as you see right here. So as you can see, white is going to be default with a hue of zero right there. Tan is going to have zero hue, but a 0 0.8 in saturation and a zero of brightness. Brown is going to be 24 hue, negative one saturation, and 0 0.5 brightness. And it'll go on and on for all these other colors. Now, it's a little hard to get used to the idea of using this format, but once you get used to it and look at the other examples, for example, maybe the hair examples right here with all the different hues and all different brown, black, white, and gray examples right here, or maybe, for example, the eyes, which are mostly going to be just hue shifts, but occasional orange and sky blue right here, you'll pretty much get used to it. Furthermore, I've also written an entire guide within the help section called Custom Colors, where you can set up all the custom colors, get the information, get an example, what you would set, and all the various limits for each and every one of them, as you can see right here. Feel free to experiment and see what you like best. And that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed, down the link along with all the sample images are, in, are on the page, linked in the description and all that stuff. So, um, 
yeah, that's 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 actually about it. So um, until next time. Yeah.